what's consistency other than a reflection of your belief? If you didn't believe there was a benefit to brushing your teeth every day, you wouldn't do it. If you didn't believe exercising and eating right, boiling your chicken every single day wasn't doing something for you, you wouldn't even bother. Right? So if you're having trouble staying consistent as something you think is important, that's a good sign that you're getting hazy as to why you're doing it, or you just don't care about it as much as you think that you do. So number one, there needs to be an obvious reason as to why you want to commit to something every single day, or else you'll fail at the first sign of resistance. If your brain can't come up with an answer to, why should I keep doing this? After a frustration <clears throat> or a choice between doing something comfortable instead, you will lose every single time. One thing I find is being disciplined for the sake of being disciplined almost never works. Like there has to be something on the other side of your suffering to make it worth it. Anything less than so would be sadism. So make sure that the reason why you want to do something every day is obvious and at the forefront of your mind at all times. There's a cool term that I thought of recently. I call it habit vaccine, which I feel will give a proper visual as to what I'm talking about in a couple seconds. And it wouldn't feel right if I didn't give this book credit. Go and pick up Atomic Habits by James Clear, literally the best book on habit creation and the science behind how it works. The first step after you make the reason why you're doing it obvious is to make the habits themselves easy. You have to break down the barriers of access to a habit so it becomes illogical not to do it. <laughs> you ever do something questionable and then someone asks you why you did it and you stutter because you know there's no thought out reason as to why you did it? You kind of just did it. That's the level of confusion you need to have if you don't do a habit. It needs to be so easy that you get an awkward feeling if someone asks you why you didn't do it, especially if you've already claimed that it's important to you. And you, what you find is usually the answer is based off, an, off of an emotional decision like, oh, I just didn't feel like it. Like, why did you take the long way to get there if you were in such a hurry? Why don't you just download the song to your phone instead of searching for it every single time? Why did you go to that Trader Joe's when there was one closer to the train? You know the other person's right because hearing out loud, it definitely doesn't make sense as to why you would go out of your way to inconvenience yourself. But you know the answer is simply just you just felt like it. There wasn't a rhyme or reason. You just kind of did it. Unfortunately, though, if your goal is important to you, that excuse ain't tolerable. The best way I've found, however, to make it so easy that it's impossible for you not to do every day is something James Clear actually thought of, which is the concept of habit stacking or simply attaching a habit to something that you're already doing in your life. For example, you're building a reading habit, leave a book in the bathroom. You're going to use the toilet anyways. You might as well read while you're on it. Building a podcast listening habit, Put your headphones on every time you walk out your house commuting to work. You're going to go to work regardless, right? Building a gym habit? If possible, find a gym that's on your route home from work anyway. And bring your spirit change of clothes with you. You want to get to a point where you eliminate any excuse that your mind can conceive when you want to choose comfort. You know you're doing it right if your only excuse for why you're not doing these habits is, I don't know, or I just didn't feel like it. Because there is no logical reason. You feel foolish if someone asks you why you didn't do something so easy if it was important to you. And what I find is the more times you feel foolish, the more likely it is that you'll commit to over a period of time. And as a sidebar, you could do the opposite for habits that you want to get rid of or replace. For example, if your favorite unhealthy snack is always near the entrance to the kitchen, you are infinitely more likely to grab one every time when you enter the kitchen versus if it was out of sight somewhere or if you never bought it in the first place. All in all, just make it easy for yourself. If you know your limitation is if you go home before you do what it is that you need to commit to, just do it before you go home. 
I promise that couch is way more powerful than you are in that moment. Every time you honor your commitments for that day, count that as a small win. Start with those small wins until it compounds into a habit. After it becomes a habit, it becomes a belief. After it becomes a belief, it becomes your identity. A change in your identity is what you're looking for. Past midnight now, but we still out here, boys. Just look how beautiful Prospect Park looks at night, man. Only in New York. Only in New York. Look at that moon. And this is what I'm gonna see. Well, some of the toys here for sure. Your brain is constantly looking for evidence on what is true or what is false. After you've developed those small wins over a period of time, there will be a change in your identity and your belief in yourself. When it goes from, I work out every day to, I am a consistent person. It stops becoming something that you do, but more so who you are. And since your brain is always looking for evidence on what is true or false, when you tell yourself, I am a consistent person, your brain is looking for evidence. But since you've already developed those habits, it can say, I am a consistent person, and here is evidence as to why that's true, which, fault, which is why you've built those small wins over those past whatever amount of times you did it. Mindset is transferable. Success you've already accomplished in one area will feel familiar once applied to another area. Touching base on a concept I talked about earlier known as habit vaccine. Like a regular vaccine where you inject a dead or weakened virus so your immune system is familiarized with it and becomes strengthened. A habit vaccine is when you inject multiple small habits you know is impossible for you not to do every day to familiarize yourself with consistency and strengthen your belief that you're the type of person who can commit to something. Let's say you want to be consistent in working out every day. You'll be shocked to know how easy it is to do so after you've already become consistent in reading, listening to podcasts every day, uh, going to sleep at the same time every day, waking up at the same time every day. All these small wins compound into the person that you need to become who can be consistent in the bigger things like working out, doing something to contribute for your business, uh, you know, contacting the people that you need to contact, etc., etc., etc. To summarize, being consistent in whatever endeavor you want to be consistent in and being disciplined isn't as hard as we try to make it out to be. As long as we make it easy for ourselves, as long as the reason why we're doing it is very obvious to us, and we work towards becoming the person who can become consistent in anything that we choose to. By compounding our wins, attaching them to things we're already doing anyway, and rocking out. Hope this helps. Have a great one. There's a rock. Trash cans, another rock. Big tree, big light pole, and I believe this is the section where they had the halal cart. Oh shit, it's a skunk. Wow. Skunk. Look at that. I'm actually afraid to get closer. Things you can find at one o'clock in the morning. Ha 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 ha.